Welcome back to Morning Live. Now, as part of International Women's Day, which was celebrated yesterday under the theme Be Bold for Change, the Motsipa Foundation has launched the precious little black book in Johannesburg. This is a maiden publication of the most essential information every woman across Africa may need. It can be on issues in relation to health, wealth, nutrition, or domestic issues. The co-founder of the foundation, Dr. Precious Mule Motsipa, joins us this morning live from our studios in Parliament. And Dr. Precious, it's a very good morning to you and thank you so much for, for coming through. Good morning and thank you for having me. All right, it's good to have you on our show this morning. Now, talk to us about um, the essential objective behind the Precious Little Black Book. Well, um, you know, for most women, um, particularly women in rural communities, but I'm talking about women across the board, professional women, domestic workers, um, and uh, just generally women, Information and knowledge is key to our own empowerment. I got this um, burning urge to put together a resource booklet whilst I was um, a medical student at Wirt University when I realized that uh, so many people fall ill because of um, lack of knowledge on how they can help themselves improve their livelihoods um, and, and just uh, be, have a holistic um, health. And I believe as well because uh, we've seen that most uh, discussions about women, they, they actually fail to recognize the fact that we as women are not the same. We have uh, different views on different things. Uh, and this might as well have been, you know, the thinking behind you compiling this book, I believe. Well, yes, absolutely. Um, you know, we had a big um, seminar yesterday uh, with um, professional women, women in agriculture. Um, we have young university students um, also at this meeting. And the point as we launched the book was to get into discussions on how women in business fare. <coughs> where, <coughs> where do we get information for women in business? Who do they approach about the banking sector? We talked about women in education. Where do you get bursaries? How do you apply for a job when you finish university? We talked about women in media. How does the, women, how does the media portray women um, generally in public? And how can women consume media better so that it serves them well? Um, so there were different opinions and different views on, 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 on this issue of women. And uh, I think the Little Black Book that we compiled serves to empower women um, in different areas of, of their lives. Mm -hmm. But talk to us about, I mean, you, I was going to come to the issue of the event that you had yesterday, but I would love to, to hear more about your sense on those interactions. What are the women saying specifically? Information, <coughs> information, information. Mm -hmm. um, <coughs> people are hungry to know where they can go to find information um, as I said, on, on health, <clears throat> on business, um, and on education. Uh, we had uh, very strong panel members. Um, we had people um, like Bronwyn, um, like uh, Nozi Pombanjo, like uh, Iman Rapetti, like um, 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 we had uh, also uh, uh, women in business, um, you know, Dr. Baloyi, we had Mrs. Mbeki. And these are women that um, most young people look up to. Um, and there were questions asked from the floor, uh, you know, on, um, by women, you know, for instance, in rural communities, on how do we access the services that government says there are services for us? How do we access women who are in powerful positions, who can help not just only to mentor us as young people, um, but to also sponsor us? There were, there were strong discussions about uh, sponsorship, about women who have succeeded, helping those that are still making it in their different careers to become successful as well. So I felt that it was a, a, a discussion between young upcoming women and older women and, and really sharing ideas on how best to empower yourself, um, whether in the workplace or um, you know, at university or, or in education. Mm. Dr. Precious, we know that uh, the Mutsipe Foundation is about uh, so much more than just this, uh, the book that we're talking about this morning because you are in Cape Town as it is now um, for the launch of the 10th Fashion Week. What does it mean for you 10 years down the line? How has the journey been? 
Oh, it's been phenomenal. Um, I think you know, talking now about the other launch that I had yesterday, which was um, uh, 10 years of African Fashion International um, hosting different designers from South Africa and from the continent uh, on our platform. Uh, we've had many successes and we've had many challenges along the way, but I'm very proud to say we have designers like your Marian Fesler, David Klale, Tula Cindy, uh, Malcolm Kluck. These are people that have become household names. I'm very proud how um, African Fashion International has been able to propel these designers onto international stages. We've also had, in the last six years, um, 75 college graduates that we have helped to quickly enter into the, into the uh, fashion industry. And, and they have become also young designers of tomorrow and they work um, you know, with, with other retailers as well. So I'm really pleased over the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. And you, you've just made mention of David Tlali. Now everyone says that David Tlali is your favorite designer. Is it true? <laughs> <laughs> no, I have many, many favorite designers. I think with David, you know, I mean, we go back when, um, in 2008, when yeah. I took four young designers to Paris, when we took on Paris Fashion Week. So it was David Tlali, Tula Cindy, Craig Jacobs, as well as Tulani. Mm. Um, and, and they really made South Africa very proud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in terms of the book, The Precious Little Black Book, Dr. Mosepe, how did they go about, um, you know, finding it? <clears throat> we distributed the book yesterday to um, a number of NGOs. Um, we will be working, and I'm very proud to say that um, the Minister of Communication has made a commitment to, and to, to help us make the book available to women in rural communities. Um, the book, um, as well, Microsoft also is helping us to digitize the book so it will be available on your cell phone. You'll be able to look up information on tips on pregnancy, uh, how to apply for a job, um, and this is information that will be readily available on your um, mobile device. But currently, uh, people can access the book on our website, the Mutsipe Foundation website, which is www.mutsipefoundation.org. All right, Dr. Precious Mutsipe Mule, thank you so much for coming through, and good luck with the Fashion Week. Thank you so much. Thank you so much indeed. There you have it. We were in conversation. She is uh, the founder of Mutsipe Foundation. If you want to get hold of the, the book, it's called The Precious Little Black Book, and you can go to the Mutsipe Foundation website to get it.